My name is Summit Agarwal. Uh, I am the owner and founder of DC High Life, which is a brand that promotes cannabis culture through events, arts, and music. Uh, today, we are participating in the Funk Festival, which we have sponsored, and are bringing out a 51-foot joint uh, to commemorate our um, desire for, for cannabis prohibition to end. My name is Adam Beidinger, and I'm the co-founder of DCMJ, and we're the group that organized legalization in Washington, D.C. I'm ecstatic that uh, Initiative 71 is going to pass. We're finally going to legalize marijuana in my hometown. In 2014, we put it on the ballot, and the voters of Washington, D.C. approved it by 70%. People can grow marijuana at home. They can possess marijuana. But we really have turned the corner because the voters made the difference. We have an art installation over here called Jail is Not a Drug Policy, and it's David Bronner's personal jail, which he locked himself in front of the White House in to protest cannabis policies a few years ago. Anyway, we use this jail to make the point that that prison is not how we should treat drug use. We should treat drug use as a public health issue. On May 20th, uh, DCMJ and DC High Life are going to be out in front of the White House uh, protesting uh, cannabis prohibition again. And the last time we did this, uh, DCMJ actually got a special meeting with the White House. So it's really about um, helping people understand that, that there's this stigma behind cannabis that's not true. Um, and, and really just helping people understand that this is actually something that can really help you out whether you consume it or not.